nearly a quarter of the BJP's 441 candidates for this year's Lok Sabha elections were defectors who had joined the party during the Modi era from 2014 onwards. In all, about 62% of these candidates were defeated. Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Amogra Mitra and I'm going to tell you about the many defectors fielded by the BJP and how they performed. The Bharatiya Janata Party fielded 110 candidates who switched to the party after Narendra Modi first came to power as Prime Minister, with 69 of them losing. The party also put up 14 pre-2014 defectors and 6 allies running on its tickets, bringing the total of candidates with non-BJP origins to 130. Further, 34 BJP candidates had been with the party for two years or less, joining in either 2023 or this year, 2024. Of these, 27 lost. This tally includes 21 out of 26 candidates who joined only this year. Notable losers from the BJP's pool of defectors include Ravneet Bittu from Lodhiana, Hansraj Hans from Faridkot, Sushil Kumar Rinku from Jalandhar, Arvind Kumar Sharma from Rotak, Jyoti Mirda from Nagore, and Anil Antony from Patna Mathita. On the flip side, prominent winners included Ravi Kishan from Gorakhpur, Jitin Prasada from Pilibhit, Jyotirate Sindhya from Guna and Naveen Jindal from Kurukshetra. At least 38 of the candidates who joined the BJP from 2014 onwards came from the Congress party, the highest for any political party. More than half, 20 of these candidates lost, including Bittu, Mirda and Antony. After the Congress, other parties contributing switchover candidates were Bahujan Samaj Party with 11, BRS 9, TMC 7, Biju Janata Dal 6, NCP 4, Samajwadi Party and AIDMK also 4. The BJP strategy to induct rebels from other parties is seen as part of its expansionist agenda with traditionally weak states, but it has sparked internal rebellions and ire among long-time members. In Gujarat, Savarkanta, for example, Party leaders protested replacing original candidate Bikaji Thakur with Shobna Bariya, the wife of former Congress legislator who joined the BJP. Despite the rumblings of discontent, the BJP still won that seat. BJP spokespersons have repeatedly claimed that the sole criterion for candidate selection is winnability. However, this strategy seems to have fallen flat with the BJP's tally dropping from 303 in 2019 to 240 below the majority mark of 273. A closer look at the defectors shows 68 jump ships to the BJP in election years 2014, 2019 or 2024, but 41 of them lost this time. Among the losers were Ram Kripal Yadav from Patliputra. He joined in 2014 from RJD. Neeraj Shekhar from Balia joined in 2019 from SP and Praneet Kaur from Patiala joined this year, leaving behind Congress. As many as 34 candidates, including Ashok Tavar, Sita Soren and Naveen Jindal, have barely spent two years in the party. They joined in 2023 or 2024, often replacing long-time BJP loyalists on candidate lists and a mere seven among them won. Beyond the 110, there were at least 10 senior leaders in the hustings who joined before 2013 when Modi came to the national stage. One well-known example is Menka Gandhi, who joined the BJP in 2004 after stints in Janata Dal and as an independent. This time, the former union minister lost her 10th Lok Sabha election since 1984. Three others from this category who lost were SS Aluwalia, Vijay Bagel and Ram Das Tadars. Statewise data shows that the BJP fielded many defectors in states where it is trying to expand its footprint, especially in the East and South. This has yielded mixed results. In Tamil Nadu, Telangana and Odisha, 28 candidates were outsiders, mostly from regional parties. 15 lost, 7 in Telangana and all 8 in Tamil Nadu. In Odisha, however, all 8 won their seats. In Andhra Pradesh, 5 or 6 candidates were outsiders, 3 lost, while Two winners included CM Ramesh, formerly of the BJP's ally Telugu Desam Party. In West Bengal, where the BJP aimed to expand but failed, it fielded 
eight outsiders with five losing. Even in Hindi heartland states, where the BJP is ruling, the party has relied heavily on defectors. In Uttar Pradesh, 22 of the 76 candidates were inductees from regional parties. 12 of these contributed to the party setback in the state. In Haryana, 6 out of 10 candidates were former Congress members. 3 of them lost their time. Similarly, in Jharkhand, 5 out of 13 candidates were defectors. The BJP lost all these seats except Dhanbad and Kodarma. Further, West in Maharashtra, another state where the BJP underperformed, 8 out of 28 candidates were defectors. All of them lost. In addition to the 110 defectors, there were also 6 seats where ally party candidates contested on BJP tickets. Except for Vinod Kumar Bin, from the Nishad party who won from UP's Badohi, all 5 lost. These included Praveen Kumar Nishad, son of Nishad party president, Sanjay Nishad in Uttar Pradesh's Sant Kabir Nagar. The other constituencies were Velour, Perambalur and Tenkasi in Tamil Nadu. Thank you for watching. Do tune in for more such news and analysis from the print.